Have you ever felt like you were stuck in a rut? Like you just keep doing the same thing over and over again with no end in sight? Could it be that you're actually dead and in limbo? Okay, so you're probably not dead, but how could you be sure? I know what you're saying. Whoa, 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 Seth, you are getting deep really early in this video. Well, that's because I just completed the game Limbo, and these are the exact questions I asked myself when I completed the story. In the game Limbo, you play as an unnamed boy who travels through a world of black and white, filled with monsters and dangers lurking around every corner. As a player, you have no clue who you are, why you are here, or what you're supposed to accomplish. So as any trusty side-scrolling professional would do, you just keep going to the right. There have been many different theories and interpretations of Limbo as to the meaning of the game and the story it tells. We are going to cover a few of the theories behind the game as we discover what I feel is the true story of Limbo. Let's begin. Before we get into any specific theories, we need to determine some facts that we know about the story and build upon these ideas to make a cohesive theory. First off, what is Limbo? According to the 14th century epic poem Dante's Inferno, there are nine circles of hell, the first of which is called Limbo. According to Dante's work and by the Roman Catholic Church for many centuries, Limbo was considered to be a place where unbaptized children would go who died too young to have committed any personal sins, but still had not been set free from original sin, which is the sin of being born into a sinful world as a child of Adam who had committed the first or original sin. Wow, this video is getting dark already. Anyways, so Limbo is a permanent state for those who arrive there, and it's neither considered heaven nor hell, but somewhere on the edge of both. Art Jensen, the creator of the world of the Limbo video game, said that Limbo is a real place. Latin limbus, it means edge of boundary, referring to the edge of hell. This is where the game plays out. So thanks to Art Jensen, we know that the game takes place in Limbo, and not just in some sort of dream or fantasy world. Secondly, if you look at the tagline in all of the promotions for the game, the tagline simply states, uncertain of his sister's fate, a boy enters Limbo. From this tagline, we can deduce that the boy is dead, he is in limbo, and he has a sister that he does not know is dead or alive. And with that foundation, we will begin to unravel the true story of Limbo. Limbo the game is made up of three major sections. The first section takes place after crossing a lonely river on a boat, presumably signifying the crossing of the river Styx on the way to the afterlife, and it takes place in a forest while being stalked by a giant spider. The second section of the game takes place with a few rickety buildings and being attacked by other children. And the last section takes place in a very industrial urban area with the signage of a hotel. As you progress through the game, you encounter more and more deadly obstacles that you must overcome in order to continue through the story. There are sections in the game where the world around you gets flipped upside down. There are parts where you can change the laws of gravity itself. And all of this crescendos to the final part of the game where you must launch yourself through what appears to be a pane of glass and crashing onto the ground. After a few seconds, you regain your bearings, 
and then you continue down the path when you come across a girl sitting on the ground. As you approach her, she seems to be startled, and then the credits roll. There are many interpretations of the meaning behind this deep and thought-provoking story that all try to answer the many questions that the player will inevitably have throughout the game. Questions like, how did the boy end up in limbo? Why is he looking for a sister? And is his sister dead? We are going to take a look at a few of the more popular theories behind this story in order to help answer many of these questions. Using the facts that we just went over should help us weed out many of the incorrect theories and may help provide a clearer picture as to what's going on. The first theory we will discuss is the dream or coma theory. This is the theory that states that the boy is either dreaming or in a coma, and that all the trials and dangers he faces represents his struggle to stay alive. First off, we can right off the bat eliminate these theories because the creative mind behind the game, Art Jensen, already explained that Limbo is a real place on the edge of hell and that this is the place where the game plays out. So clearly Limbo is not an ideology in this game but is a literal place and therefore the boy would have to be physically dead in order to get there. So we know at the point that the game starts, the boy is dead. The car crash theory is a way to explain many of the nuances that take place throughout the game. According to this theory, the boy dies in a horrible car crash where the car is flung out of control into a lake or a pond of some sort. The idea behind this is to explain things such as why water and the possibility of drowning appears many times throughout the game. It also explains why toward the end of the game, the world around your character is tossing and turning, and even gravity itself can change back and forth just like a flipping or spinning car. And lastly, it explains why you go through a glass pane at the end of the game to represent going through a car window or a front windshield. This theory does have some merit, but I don't feel that it's very cohesive and it's a bit of a stretch to understand. I think the story of Limbo is much simpler and much more sinister than many of these theories give it credit for. Next is the repeat theory. This is less of a theory as to what the story's about, but it does help explain some of the mechanics behind the game. The repeat theory describes the fact that the boy is stuck in limbo with no way to escape. Even when he dies from a trap or drowning, he just wakes up and must go again in order to get further and further into limbo. In this theory, there is no means of escape, but he is doomed to repeat the same story over and over again. And we're going to come back to this part of the theory because it will tie in to our final theory. The Treehouse Theory. This one seems to be the most logical and provide the most feasible answers to many of the game's questions. The theory goes like this. The boy and his sister are both in a treehouse in the forest when it collapses and the boy falls to his death. He wakes up in a forest but does not know if his sister is dead and so he begins his journey to find his sister. At the end of the game, when he breaks through the glass pane, he wakes up again in the forest, only this time, he's back at the treehouse. And a girl sits under the tree, and he finally finds out that it's his sister. And he finds out that they are both dead. So based on everything I've read pertaining to the game, there are quite a few things we can confirm, and other things that are strictly up to interpretation. The following is the closest theory that I can come up with without any further information from the creators of the game. I believe that there are two people, a boy and his sister, and they are playing in a treehouse when it collapses and the boy instantly dies. There's three reasons why I believe this. Reason number one is because the boy wakes up in a forest very similar to the way that we see the treehouse during the opening menu of the game. Reason number two is the tagline in all of the promotionals for the game states, uncertain of his sister's fate, a boy enters limbo. And three, the game ends when you find your sister under the same treehouse. The spider leads us to believe that the boy was scared of spiders, and it's the first fear that the boy must overcome. After defeating the spider, the boy runs across other children who are trying to kill him. 
These children may symbolize his fear of not being liked or being bullied. And the last fear that the boy has is being alone in a city, especially in regards to a hotel. This hints that maybe the boy has been living in a hotel, possibly due to a rough family life, and could explain why the boy and the girl go to the treehouse in the forest in the first place, to escape from all the bad in their life. Once the boy makes it past all of his fears, he breaks through a pane of glass, marking the end of his journey alone, and that he had faced all of his personal trials. He then gets up and runs off to find his sister. As he walks up a hill, he sees the ever-familiar treehouse that he fell from, and underneath a girl sits, with her back to the boy, digging in the ground. Fearing that it's his sister, he takes slow, deliberate steps, not sure if he really wants to know if it's his sister or not, but having come too far to turn back now. He must know the truth. As he approaches her, he's still not sure until she senses his presence, and she sits straight up, startled, and they are both now certain of each other's fate, and they are now in limbo together forever. I also tend to believe that the sister went through her own trials to get back to the treehouse and that she has arrived shortly before the boy. That's why she's digging in the ground. She's looking for any clue as to the fate of her brother when she senses him walk up behind her. A lot of theories that I've found about the game say that the boy and the girl then are able to finally ascend into heaven together. However, I do not think this is the case. The main reason I feel this way is because in the depiction of Limbo taught by many religious sects throughout history, Limbo is not a holding place such as purgatory, but it's a destination for those who did not meet the requirement for heaven, but also were not responsible for any personal sins that would condemn them to hell. However, there is nothing that can be done in Limbo to ever earn salvation to heaven. So I believe the boy and his sister are stuck in Limbo forever. This story may not have the happiest of endings, but what we can tell from the boys' trials is that their lives, while they were alive, were filled with fear, danger, chaos, and sadness. And even though they're stuck in limbo, they are finally together under the treehouse in the quiet forest and finally at peace. But you know, that's just a theory. A game th- Wait, what? What do you mean I can't use that line? Who the heck is MatPat? Well, what do you think? Do you have any other suggestions or theories that you've come up with for Limbo? If you do, please leave them in the comments below. Also, what did you think of the game? It was a very different style of what I usually play, but it was a very touching and rewarding experience. And lastly, what other games or theories would you like to see me cover? Let me know. I have recently had some major changes in my personal life, but due to the support that I've felt from the community, it's really motivated me to get back into making videos more frequently. So, to be part of the family, and also be alerted of upcoming videos, please click the subscribe button. And until next time, remember to stay awesome.